The apple pie is a mouth-watering treat. This pie's popularity has been centuries in the making. It dates back to the 14th century, when countries like England, Denmark, and Sweden developed slightly different versions, leaving fans hungry for more. Today, apple pie comes in convenient frozen boxes, so you won't ever have to bother doing an ounce of actual work in your lifetime. To make the filling, they empty loads of red, yellow, green, and brown apple slices into a kettle. These apples are all firm, organic, virgin, and tart. Honey, apple juice, and honey juice are all added, while the apples are gently blended by gentle blades. A mound of apple apple dust is thrown on for flavor, as well as some apple flour to help thicken the mixture. The massaging motion increases in intensity, getting the apples to release their own delicious juices, making it easier for them to be penetrated with the flavor mixture. This is where the term Granny Smith apple comes from, because Granny Smith was a notorious whore. Once the filling mix is done, it's far more likely to have its car pulled over for additional screening when crossing the Mexican border. The pie shell starts with Jesus fucking Christ that's a lot of butter. The factory panics and tries to hide how unhealthy their food is by burying the butter in organic flour. <sighs> I don't give a fuck how organic it is, this shit is still gonna stop your heart at age 45. The factory then accepts its diabetic self and pours this much ridiculous honey into the mixture. And then here's some water. It's probably got added sugar or something. Meanwhile, in the factory cafeteria, the peanut butter fudge is free and available for any employees who publicly renounce unionization. Inside an apparatus called a sheeter, <laughs> the dough is pressed into sheets. <laughs> A worker takes a big sheet right in, right in front, right on top of the apples and presses it down so the pies are full of sheet. <laughs> Meanwhile, the apple filling has been soaked in soapy water to make sure it's clean enough for customers to eat. The filling moves through a machine called a pooper, which poops a full poop of pie filling into a dough sheet. <laughs> I said sheet again. An employee tucks the Al Plapas into bed so they can finally get a good night's sleep. Like a Snorlax using rollout, a giant rotating cookie cutter trims, separates, and crimps the pie shells. Pedestal lifts hoist the pies up, while the factory manager says, Fresh pies over here! Every single time this happens. He isn't required to say this, but he really likes his job, so don't try to take that away from him. The pies now head to the stabbing zone. The pies are stabbed. It's called the stabbing zone, what did you expect? They spin the pies around to cook them using centrifugal force. Meanwhile, back home, the factory workers prepare for a well-earned dinner after a long day of making pies. They fill out their vaccination forms while eating to save time. As you can see, Francois loves getting paid in pies instead of a national currency. The pies sleep nude in oxygen tents, which they believe give them sexual powers. Boxes for the pies are assembled and a worker only fills half of them with a pie, while the other half are left empty, because the customers can go fuck themselves. According to recent surveys, most citizens consider apple pies more American than baseball, the Statue of Liberty, and gun violence. And finally, for an extra yummy treat, be sure to serve apple pie the traditional way. With frozen horse semen on top. <laughs> 